campaign office to, wait, to raise awareness about the injustices facing the military whistleblower and Nobel Peace Prize nominee Bradley Manning. We do not plan to leave until our demands regarding the illegal treatment of our fellow soldier have been met. Yeah! As those who have, been, who have spent years serving our country, we have faith that as Commander-in-Chief, President Obama will do the right thing in answering our request. All right. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Unlike the chance. Also, make room for other people to come in. We want this to be open to everyone. There's lots of room here. Woo! 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 This is what change looks like. Our demands are as follows. First, President Obama apologized for the comment he made at the fundraiser in April of 2011 regarding PFC Manning's guilt. Yes. Commander-in-Chief Obama stated he broke the law, a sentiment that was later echoed by General Dempsey, the chief of staff of the Army. He, this, constitutes un, sorry, this constitutes unlawful command influence Illegal under the Uniform Code of Military Justice. And this, this precludes PFC Manning from receiving a fair trial. Second, that President Obama ensures soldiers are free from illegal pretrial punishment. For the first 11 months of his detention, PFC Manning was held in solitary isolation. He was not allowed regular exercise for sunlight and was even forced to stand at attention naked. Oh. UN Chief Investigator on Torture, Juan Mendez, has declared these conditions cruel, inhumane, and degrading. Just this last week, PFC Manning's defense revealed that they have discovered emails which show orders to hold him in these inhumane conditions from a three-star general who, who ignored the warnings of rigged psychologists and was likely acting with political motive. Ooh. We ask that President Obama pardon him and the remaining charges and seek to ensure the international human rights of other servicemen and women will be respected. While we would defend the rights outlined above for any member of the armed services, we support PFC Manning, especially due to the patriotic, patriotic motivations behind these actions attributed to him and the positive impacts that, they have, that have come from them. For example, we believe it to be appropriate for President Obama to acknowledge the role that these actions have played in ending the Iraq War. During the 2008 campaign, a majority of Americans, as well as the majority of those enlisted, believed that U.S. forces would be withdrawn from Iraq. Many people voted for President Obama because they believed that he would end the war. Shame. Despite the wishes of the American people, President Obama sought to keep troops in Iraq past the originally planned 2011 deadline. Documents allegedly released by PFC Manning helped American citizens understand why the war has not ended sooner. These reasons include a failure of the command to adequately discipline soldiers who would, who would discredit the U.S. military in the eyes of the world by wrongfully killing civilians. The release of improperly classified documents via WikiLeaks provided an opportunity for President Obama to grant new Iraqi government and more independence as planned, and to bring American taxpayer dollars home and to use them to treat traumatized veterans. Bradley Manning served with a conscience. Words attributed to him in May 2010 showed he acted because he wanted the people to see the truth. Because without information, he cannot make informed decisions as a public. President Obama made a similar statement in May 2011 when he stated, In the 21st century, information is power. The truth cannot be hidden. And the legitimacy of governments will ultimately depend on active and informed citizens. We now ask President Obama to honor these words by freeing the American truth teller, Bradley Manning. Because that's what they've done before. Doors. So the back door on the outside of the building, a few people back there would be great. <laughs> <laughs>